My friends, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like what you see, please click the subscribe button and click the notification bell. And if you think you're already subscribed, please check to make sure YouTube hasn't unsubscribed you without your permission. It happens every day. And if you really like what you see, please consider becoming a channel member or even leaving a super thanks donation to help keep us going. I promise to answer each and every one I receive. Thank you for watching, my friends, and now, on to the video. Folks, Hollywood writers have fallen on very hard times. That much is clear to anyone who goes to movies or watches TV shows. We can see for ourselves just how god-awful these scripts are, and the scripts are essentially a symptom of just how horrible the environment is from whence they sprang. Some of the problem is wokeness, because political agendas in general are a death sentence to stories, because absent a truly skilled writer like Gene Roddenberry, the agenda swamps and drowns the narrative like a baby in the bath, leaving nothing but a floating DEI corpse, and a gassy one at that. And frankly, there are very few truly skilled writers left in Hollywood. Oh, they exist. They are still there but they're being frozen out by woke propagandists and a bunch of snowflake kids with zero life experience, no appreciable talent, and tons of arrogance that make sure they keep on sucking and never learn. They can't learn, because they're narcissists who have no perspective whatsoever, and therefore cannot see their own deficiencies in order to improve. As a result, Hollywood is dying, because experienced, excellent writers are like bees. Quietly, in the background, they move from project to project, pollinating them so they can germinate into full-blown flowers, or in this case, movies. But when you have a collapse of bees, you get a collapse of the whole ecosystem, and that's what's happening to Hollywood. The ecosystem is collapsing not merely from bad writing, but also because streaming content has killed off things like residual payments, and there are less shows being produced now. Indeed, Hollywood is like a hive undergoing colony collapse, and now writers are flocking to be interviewed by my Hollywood spies because they want to be heard. They want to sound the alarm, and they want it known that Hollywood has perhaps five years of life left before it completely collapses. Now, most of these interviews are saying the same things, and my spies are not sending me those because I've already reported an interview with a writer and an interview with an actor. So there's no point in going over all of that stuff again if they're saying very similar things. But every once in a while, we get a special source with something new to say. My Hollywood spies send me that report, and thus today, I share it with you. A couple of weeks ago, my Hollywood spies met with a famous older writer. According to my spies, quote, This is our first time meeting someone of his caliber. He was kind enough to chat live and was very open. That being said, I feel people would be able to figure out who this is very easily. Therefore, I will tell you what he said, leaving vital information out and adding my own words at times. He was very well spoken, as one might expect." Unquote. My friends, sit back and enjoy this interview, and just wait till you hear about this individual's opinion on why women in modern movies and TV shows are so damn obnoxious and nigh unto unwatchable. The frank views expressed here will make you laugh your ass off and shake your head in disgust, both at the same time. Here's how the interview went. My Hollywood spy said, welcome and thanks for your time today. Please, if you would, tell us what you have to say. The writer replied, well, I'm very good friends with blank. We have excised the name. And he was quite impressed with how you gentlemen handled his interview. And to be honest, I couldn't help myself. I decided to look into Mr. DVD and his YouTube channel. Well, enough time had passed and I was surprised to see an actor also came forward to give their opinion about this DEI malarkey, and I found myself agreeing with both the writer and the actor, but I believe they left some stuff out and I feel that I could add to the conversation. My spies replied, just so you know, we leave stuff out in order to protect the people that come forward. Uh, the safety of these people are foremost priority. That being said, you have the floor. The writer replied, I see. Well, one of the topics I want to discuss with you is the self-insert the actor in question was describing. 
I don't think he went far enough in his explanation, and please don't leave a thing out of this. These people, I believe activists is how they are seen and described, hide behind their beliefs and opinions, and to be honest, I'm sure there are some that probably believe what they are doing is right. True believers, as it were. The main reason for the rapid decline of writing in these works is nothing less than these people have no life experience outside a classroom and their own circle of friends, peers who basically think exactly like them. These individuals have no interest or desire to let people in their circles that don't see eye to eye with them. They also have no desire to listen to anyone who doesn't conform to their beliefs. This includes people that have been working in the industry for years to decades, and this goes doubly for men. You see, as I'm sure you gentlemen have been told, the majority of these so-called activists are in fact of the female persuasion. And in truth, these women are, in the most part, white and younger, mainly in the 20 to 25 demographic. If these women do have a white male among their writing team or directing team, these men are usually gay or claim to be. There are also a few black people in these groups. It's these minorities that the activists hide behind to get their way and when the project they're working on doesn't perform. The simple fact is, these activists are dead set on changing how women are perceived. To be perfectly honest, the majority of these activists are, what one might say, ugly or maybe unattractive is a better word. So in order for these activists to fit into society, in their minds, beauty needs to be redefined or that's the way it's been explained to me in the past. The sad truth is, in the past 10 to 15 years, these activists have achieved the opposite of their goals and Hollywood is looking to unload these young women and try to get back to making money. Only I personally believe it's too late for Hollywood to course correct in time to save the industry from being destroyed. My spies asked, what do you think will happen? The writer replied, well, as I see it, the industry will start to sell the brands, Warner Brothers, Paramount, Disney, and others. My spies replied, do you really believe Disney will be forced to sell stuff? The writer replied, yes, I'm not suggesting this will happen tomorrow. You see, streaming is an anchor around these studios, and they are so tied up in the streaming services at this point, the studios in question can't bail on streaming and save face. You see, whomever is in charge would have to admit they were wrong and to put a name in this situation. Bob Iger would never admit he was wrong to spend the amount of money on Disney Plus that he did. As I understand it, Disney is $20 billion in the red, and this doesn't include the money lost after Disney Plus launched. Disney has lost money on Disney Plus every single year since Disney Plus launched. Trust me, if Hollywood keeps going in the same direction, they are now five years from no one will recognize this industry. After this, we chatted about his new movie and for now, that was off the record." Unquote. So there you have it, from a highly experienced writer, my friends. A lot of this so-called woke crap is basically coming from women who are trying to adapt the world to their definition of beauty by eliminating women from popular entertainment who are pleasing to the male gaze to try and make themselves <laughs> look better in real life. <laughs> you cannot make this shit up, people. This is so shallow, it never even would have occurred to me. I want to thank this writer for stepping forward and sounding the alarm about this. Yet another symptom in Hollywood's catastrophic colony collapse. And if we get any more interviews that are relevant from writers or actors, and I'd like to hear from a director or two if we could get them, I will present it to you. Watch this space. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry. Ha, 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 ha.